life is honestly too short to worry about. Uh, take two. David, please don't pass me by. Hey guys, um, first off, I want to thank God for seeing me through this academic year. If you didn't know, I study aerospace engineering in Ukraine and trust me, this semester was my absolute best. I did so well and I give all glory to God and I also want to congratulate everyone that has graduated. I pray that as you venture into the world, you shall find favour amongst men and you shall locate your destiny shapers in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, I... I was in church yesterday, today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday, so I don't know which day I'm going to post this video but basically on Sunday um, the preacher was preaching and I just felt like he was talking to me like you know them ones when the preacher is preaching and you're just like okay this is definitely for me so the preaching was about pride and humility, it was quite in depth but what really struck me was when he said a lot of times we hide our weaknesses and our flaws because we want to be accepted by people and I'm so guilty of that. So in today's video, I'm just basically going to put out all my flaws or my weaknesses, not because I want you guys to feel sorry for me or to be sympathetic with me, but just because I want you to understand that whatever it is you're going through, trust me, there is someone out there going through the same thing and from experience, I've noticed that when I share my problems, with um, someone there's always that one person that has been through the same situation and they tell me how they got through the situation so it really does help sometimes when you open up to someone about that deep dark secret that you've been keeping that you're so ashamed of trust me you're not the first and you wouldn't be the last to go through that phase so the first thing I do not like about myself is I am socially awkward and I blame that on the fact that I don't really socialize with people I'd rather be at home than be than go out so it's affected my sociability or my social skills so if I was in a room full of like five people I would probably be the quiet one just you know looking and observing and saying oh yeah you're right you know keep talking I would never speak but if I was to be left alone with one person then I just start talking and talking and talking because my problems I feel like in a room full of people my opinion is irrelevant which is absolutely wrong you know so to get over my social awkwardness i am going to be more social i'm going to try and go out and socialize with people because having oh, having the ability to socialize is very vital it's very important especially as a woman learn how to be able to adapt to different situations that you find yourself in it will really go a long way and number two my, i used to hate my height i don't hate it anymore because i've grown to love it but I think I'm 5'10 or 5'11, I can't remember. Um, I never wore heels because I was too um, worried that guys were going to feel intimidated by my height because I'm already tall and so what's the point of wearing heels? Until I was about 19, I did not own a pair of heels. But now I absolutely love heels, like they just give you this really classy look. So if you're tall and not someone's telling you not to wear heels, trust me, they just, they, they're trying to pull you down. Wear your heels, rock your heels, catwalk everywhere you're around because, you know, God made you tall for a reason. So do not let anyone put you down. Ah, uh, number three, what else would I like about myself? I have like a list of things. Oh yeah, I sometimes I don't feel pretty. Like I have my days when I just feel like I'm so unattractive because, you know, the social media and Instagram makes, just it makes you think twice about yourself sometimes because a lot of girls on there are curvy, you know, they have the extra large front and back and there's just me that's just really plain. So sometimes it does affect me. Do not uh, let Instagram di dictate to you what beauty is because that was my problem. It still happens to me now, but you know, I thank God that I'm starting to really accept myself. Like there's going to be someone out there that would like you for you. And um, finally, I was speaking to a friend of mine uh, last week and she was like oh she doesn't think she'll find the right guy like she's 21 a lot of her friends are getting married and engaged and she's just there she's not even in a serious relationship like when is she gonna start dating I understand the pressure as girls like we all want that couple goals and you know the pictures on Instagram and you know every kind of thing but to be honest everyone's race is different you're 21 I'm 21 now I do am I ready to get married no because I haven't achieved half of what or even a quarter of what I plan to achieve and the thing with um, marriage is that you have to make sacrifices once you get into a marriage that's just life some people are ready uh, for marriage at the age of 18 others are ready at the age of 25 but we would all get married at the right time and God will bring the right guy to you stop focusing on finding you know the perfect guy because the more you focus on 
finding a guy um that's probably when you're not going to find the right guy and like i mentioned in one of my videos any guy that gives you attention you just tend to think oh he's the one i've just told myself that i'm going to try to be the best that i can be and stop worrying about things that are quite irrelevant because if i'm saying that oh i don't feel pretty i'm not going to do this blah 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 there are people that have physical scars on their face there are people that are disabled and yet they're still going out and doing things and enjoying their life so you complaining about not having this or not liking this or that about yourself or your life you're basically being ungrateful to God because he has given you everything as long as you have a full body and you have good health that's all you need basically to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve so just generally be happy and enjoy your life because once it's gone it's gone you can't come back from heaven or wherever you go and say oh i want to do this i want to do that you want to be 90 years old or 100 years old and look back and be like damn i really did live life i enjoyed myself i did all that i wanted to do i wasn't worried about anything or i didn't i didn't like um miss an opportunity or whatnot so just be confident and love yourself and yeah i'm basically telling this to myself so sharon watch your videos and take the advice that you give to people thank you so much for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and check check out all my videos i post videos every sunday thank you guys so much again bye